Today I'm working on a special project for this lady. Now what she asked me was three 12 inch by 12 inch paintings that would fit with characters from World of Warcraft. Now this is for her boyfriend for Valentine's Day and what she did is she sent me a bunch of images and I told her that I chose one image per character and I tried to reproduce those colors as best as I could to create an abstract painting to go with that character. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of paint here and it's no use like naming each color because it would be impossible for you to reproduce these colors anyway. So what I did is I mixed a bunch all together to create the colors as best as I could. For example, this blue here was made from these two colors here. I have some neon here. I have the darker neon that I've added a bit of this green into and so on. So what I did when I needed white or black, which was for maybe three or four colors in here, three, I think. Example, this one is I used the white and the black from Artist Loft. Maybe five drops of black have been used in all of this. And I'd say the most white is in here. All I did was add a bit of silver in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys an image before I pour the painting and I'm going to be doing all three of them in a row. So you'll see that image and then I'll pour that painting and so on and so forth. And when I'm done everything, then I'll show you guys the three paintings on my side and what that looks like. So I'm going to finish preparing these. I'm really going to do them individually. I'm going to set all my paints aside, prepare all the paints for one painting at a time. And I'll be adding some Liquitex pouring medium into all of my paints. This is the only product that will be added. Then I'm going to dilute with water to get the right consistency. So let me set myself up here and get my uh, painting zen on and I am going for this.
back with two of them. The third one is going to be in the next clip. And as you guys might have seen, I had a blast of playing with these after I finished tilting. Since I used just deco art on its own, practically almost, it doesn't react as much as when I mix brands. So I had to play around with it to get some uh, different effects. So on this one, I sprayed one shot of diluted dish soap, as you guys saw, and then I tilted the canvas again. Some cool stuff happened. Pretty cool. And it's hard to see because of the light, but that darker yellow here is gold. There's some gold in there and it's sparkly. Will I get it? Nope. Oh, there's some here. Now you can see it there. Wow, eh? Super camera. So what I also did, since I didn't find there was enough yellow, there was too much red in there. So I poured a blob here and I just blew on it with a straw to give some weirdo fiery effects. Kind of, kind of fits with the image, right? Now for this one, this one I blew on it with a straw like crazy to reposition everything because I found that there was too much of that light purple compared to the image. But it's looking kind of cool now. I find. And that neon green is crazy. Wonder how that's going to dry. All right, so I'm going to show you the next painting now. All right, guys, so I waited a while before showing you guys this one. So it's dried a lot on the sides. Now, what I did, I found there was too much of that pink, pinkish color, so I added some green so it could fit more with the image. And as you saw, I blew on it like crazy. <laughs> so much fun making these paintings. And I also added, let me get the bottle. You can see that metallic color there is this here. I decided to add that on afterwards. And I found that it fit so well that I added some twice and blew in it. A lot of effects happened here. It's cool because it looks more girly. All right, so overall look. Stay tuned for the dried result. So I'm back with the dried and resin coated results of this little mini threesome here. No black or white. Looking super cool. Since the images were so flashy, I wanted to bring those colors back out and that's why I gave the resin coating. And I added some purple metallics with a paintbrush there just to give it some highlights. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys the images again with the paintings individually. You can let me know what you think. I'm loving this project. It's so cool. All together. All right, bye guys.